Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Zephyr for Jira tutorial, we are going to learn how you can add the test cases into the test cycles that we have created or how you can add or execute the test cases into the ad hoc cycles. So let us uh, go to the project. So this is our project and uh, in order to add the test cases into the test cycle, there are multiple ways and I'll go through those different possibilities and ways and the features within Jira that are available to add those test cases into test cycles. So let me go to the, uh, to the Zephyr interface and here in the Zephyr interface, I have the option to search test cases. Now, before you actually add the test cases, you need to search the test cases either through basic search, advanced or JQL. Now, in this case, uh, if I go to search test or, you know, search all the test cases from the Zephyr interface, it will list out all the test cases which in turn is basically nothing but a basic search query in Jira, which selects the issue type as test and the project where we are in, okay? So now these are the test cases. Now, how can you add these into the test cycle that you have created? So the option is very simple. In the right-hand side of the test case, go to the three ellipses here. And if you scroll down, you will see the option of, uh, you know, executing the test cases so if you click on execute test case it will open the execute window or the execute test window from here as well you can add this test case into the ad hoc you know cycle so at the moment it's it's by default to execute ad hoc but if i want to add it to it to the existing testing cycle i can select the second option add to existing test cycle and then i can execute it right so what this does is if I select the second option, it will add this test case into the particular test cycle and then it will open the interface to execute this particular test case as well. So say for example, I want to add this test case to version 1.1.50 and I want to add it to the cycle uh, to clone v1.0 regression. This is our cycle. Um, and then in the test folder, which folder? So if this particular cycle would be having certain folders, it will give me the list of folders that are available below this particular cycle. So at the moment, there is only one folder. I can choose this particular folder. And from here itself, I can assign this particular execution to certain, you know, team member in my team. So I can go ahead and you know, search the team member. So I can say uh, at the moment, let me assign it to myself. So I, if you start typing in, it will list out the matched users. I'll say RCV tutorials. And then if I click on execute, it will open the execution interface. And along with that, it will also add this particular test case into that test cycle that we have selected, right? So here it has opened up the execution interface. So I'll skip the tour as of now. And here now I can execute this particular test case, right? So here in the execution status and all the other details, I will be able to uh, update in the test execution. So I'll cover test execution in the next tutorial in a lot more detail, but this is first way to basically add a particular test case into a test cycle and then at the same time execute it, okay? Let's go back and look, go back to the project and I'll show you the other way to add the test case into test cycle. And uh, with that, it won't execute the particular test case. So if I go to the Zephyr interface again, search the test case and say, for example, uh, I want to assign this to a particular test cycle. So right hand side, three ellipses, click on it and you will get another option add to test cycle from that particular test case itself, right? So I can click on add to test cycle and it will open add to test cycle window. I can select the version. I can select the cycle summary where I want to add this particular test case. I can select the folder and I can also assign this particular test case for execution to one of my team member, okay? If I want to add more, you know, um, add to more, test cycle. So I want to add this particular test case into this particular test cycle, as well as there are more, you know, um, test cycle, then I can check this box and then click on add. And this test case will then get added to that particular cycle. 
and the window will still be open so that you can you know if you want to add it into any other you know cycle say for example i want to add it to the ad hoc as well in the same version then i can add this particular test case in the in the ad hoc so i'll uncheck now i don't want to add this test case to any other cycles click on add and then this window should disappear oh, there is error okay i think it got added but there was some error so we'll see we'll go back to the cycle and verify that so this is the second way basically now the third option or the third way to add the test case into cycle is from the test case description so test case details page so here you are on the test case detail page in the right hand side in the actions three ellipses click on it and you have the same option add to test cycles right so here either you can execute and while executing you can add it to a particular cycle and execute or you can add to a test cycle directly and you can execute it later okay so same options are available here on the description as well or the uh, test description as well now the other um, option for adding the test cases is basically so let me uh, go back and open the project so from the cycle so whatever cycle we have created right so if i go to the cycle summary and from the cycle summary i can get all the test cycles that have been created in this project right now many times you want to add the test cases in bulk uh, into the test cycle right and you don't want to go to each and every test case and add that into the cycle that's very tedious work right so say for example in this particular you know uh, unscheduled clone v1.0 regression i want to add you know test cases based on uh, certain criteria so in the right hand side click on the actions three ellipses and you can add tests from here okay so directly in this cycle if i click on add tests it will open me the add tests window and there are multiple options to select and add the test cases into this particular cycle so i can either search the test cases individually using the id or you know uh, different criteria or i can write a search filter okay so i can write a search filter to search a specific test case that we are looking for say for example i am looking for the test cases that are having a, a label as a regression then i can create a search filter and then i can select that particular search filter and choose that search filter and based on that search filter criteria it will add all the test cases that will match to that particular filter okay then I can also add the test cases from another cycle. Say, for example, I have a existing cycle which has 50 test cases. Then I can select that particular test cycle and pull those test cases into the new cycle. Okay. So these are, you know, three options that are available to add the test cases into bulk into uh, a particular test cycle. So if I go back to individually, I can just start typing in the ticket number so i can say rt49 uh, rt say for example i know what all test cases or the um, issues or tests basically that i want to add i can simply add those or select those by different you know search criteria individually and then i can add those into this particular test cycle if i want to assign these test cases to someone i can simply choose the user from this drop down and i click on click on add and you can see that the test cases have been added so these test cases have been successfully added and you will see that the test cases are available here in this particular regression unscheduled test cycle that we have created right so this is a quicker way to basically add the test cases based on certain criteria now let me open uh, you know another option so this was individually if i go via search filter then i can create a search filter to filter the test cases that i want to add and then that filter will be available here say so for example these are the filters that are available here but um, i don't have any test case filter as such but this is how it will look like say so for example you choose the filter and based on the filter 
it will filter out the you know test cases and it will add those test cases within that particular cycle the other option from another cycle you can select which cycle you are looking for say for example i want to add the test cases from 1.1.50 version which have uh, which are in the cycle clone v.1.0 and then a test folder and then i want to assign to someone so i will choose assign to i can also select the priority to those test cases say for example these are the high priority test cases and then execution status i can say unexecuted uh, only unexecuted test cases need to be added to this particular cycle then um, you know i can select component label so there are a lot of options available to add the test cases from another test cycle so once you are done with the selection you can click on add and the test cases that will match that particular criteria will get added successfully right so this is a brief introduction how you can add the test cases into different test cycle and what all different possibilities are there to add the test cases into test cycle now let's go back and uh, you know check the test cases that we have added so if i go to the ad hoc you remember rt48 is the test case that we have added manually right by from directly from that particular test case and added it to the ad hoc execution or ad hoc cycle similarly for this clone v1.0 we added the test cases to the ui folder right uh, manually uh, going through test case one by one so these are the test cases that have been added in the cycle they are in the status unexecuted and now whomsoever in your team you will assign these test cases they will be getting notification to execute these test cases and log the pass or fail uh, test result into the zephyr itself right so this is a brief about adding the test case into test cycle in jira zephyr that's all for this tutorial hope it was helpful please do share and subscribe and thank you for watching